as early as 1928, the communists declared that the racial differences among our people constituted the weakest and most vulnerable point in our social fabric. By constantly probing and straining at this one spot, they calculated that eventually the cloth could be torn apart and that Americans could be divided, weakened, and perhaps even set against each other in open combat. Howdy friends, this is a quick notification. I will be premiering a video at 7.30 p.m. British Summer Time entitled Communist Takeover of America and Beyond New World Order The Great Reset Now it's a 15 minute video and I'll be going live at 8 p.m. BST British Summer Time to um, maybe discuss the video and other things as always I will be using StreamYard so I'll leave a link to StreamYard this is StreamYard.com this isn't a, a link to the live stream this is just to StreamYard if you want to familiarize yourself with it maybe set yourself up if you fancy doing a live stream now there is mention of a publication Color Communism and Common Sense I'll leave a link to in the description and hopefully you can join me for both the premiere and the live stream chat. Okay. Yachida Tataruan. The demoralization process in the United States is basically completed already. Even if I take him by force to the Soviet Union and show him concentration camp, he will refuse to believe it until he, he is going to receive a kick in, the, in his fat bottom. When a military boot crashes his balls, then he will understand. Uh, the next stage, of course, is crisis. It, it, it may take only up to six weeks to, to bring a country to the verge of crisis. You can see it in, in Central America now. Uh, to, to destabilize your uh, economy, to eliminate the principle of free market competition, and to put a big brother government in Washington DC, obviously they get offended. They think that they will come to power. That will never happen, of course. They will be lined up against the wall and shot. They have one and only one solution for all problems. More government, more government, and then more and more until it's total government. And forgive me for saying it one more time. Total government is communism.